Hi, I'm David Harry and in this video I'm going to be testing a Sennheiser MKH60 shotgun microphone with a Movo WST220 windshield and a Saramonic Smart Rig Phantom Powered Preamplifier. Okay, so the point of this video is to test the MKH60 shotgun microphone by Sennheiser with a Movo WST220 windshield. Now, also what I'm going to be doing is testing out the ability of the Saramonic Smart Rig to pre-amplify and to power this particular microphone. Now, anybody who kind of knows anything about microphones will know that the MKH60 is not a cheap microphone. It's, uh, well, it's actually the other end of the scale. It is a quite an expensive shotgun microphone now I'm actually going to be powering this and amplifying it with a Saramonic smart rig which has got to be the cheapest pre-amplifier I've ever come across but not only does it pre-amplify it also sends phantom power which this microphone does require so I've got a 22 pound um, like preamp phantom power unit which is actually doing all the all the donkey work for a very expensive shotgun microphone. So this will give us an idea of two things, the wind test and also how good the Saramonic actually is. Okay, so as I've been talking here, we, we will have been getting a little bit of wind. I've got a light breeze here. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on the top of the hill at the river park in Port Sunlight, which is on the Wirral. And it's, uh, it's a fantastic place. I come here a lot to, to like test cameras and test microphones, get great views and stuff and whatever. But today it's a little bit breezy, which is good for me today because I'm doing a wind test. Okay, so I think this is probably enough blurb from me right now for us to have gotten you know really good idea as to the sound quality of the microphone going through the Saramonic. But, but you know, the other part of this test is a wind test, so we should have had you know enough idea of how the wind's affecting the microphone. So now what I'm gonna do is put the Movo on and do a little bit more talking. Okay, so I've now switched over to the Movo, and the first thing we should notice is a reduction in the amount of wind that's hitting the microphone. Because basically what happens is the Movo just acts as a shield between the elements and the microphone. So in this instance, yeah, we should have noticed a huge reduction in the wind. Now, if the amount of reduction that you've noticed here, if you were happy with that, what this really means is that you don't have to go to the extent of taking out a load of equipment, say things such as blimps and what have you. In fact, that's a blimp, that's a blimp actually for the MKH60. So you don't necessarily have to be lugging around one of these with maybe a dead cat as well. Because if you don't need it, it's just gonna add more weight or more bulk, you know, to what you've got to carry around to your shoots and whatnot. And if you're like me and you do like most of the stuff all on your own, I kind of try to fit as much as I can into a backpack. If I can avoid using something like this and just use that, I'll do that all day long. Yeah, so basically, hopefully this can show people that, yeah, you don't need to go to that extent if it's only mild winds like this. So hopefully, if this is going to be able to be something that will just kind of like stop light breezes, you don't need to bulk out and whatnot. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to kind of go find some more wind somewhere, and then I'll kind of just do like no talking, but just I'll, I'll get the mic in the shot and I'll go with and without the Movo, um, because I'll be I'll be interested myself to see how heavy we can get with the wind. Um, so I'll go down by the river and see what I can get there. Okay, so it's been a few days now since I run them tests and I've had a bit of time to listen back and I have to say I'm really, really happy with the amount of reduction that I was getting using the Movo. Now, it's not going to beat a blimp with a dead cat on, but like I said during the test, if it's a certain kind of like level of wind where you don't need to bulk up with like a big audio system, then yeah, you know, it may just come into use just in them certain scenarios as it did with me. Now, if you listen carefully, there was still a little bit going on when I was doing my dialogue, but for me personally, 
the amount of wind that it knocked out was good enough for them takes for me. And like I said, you know, if that allows me to go with like a single backpack and get that type of dialogue or that type of reduction in the wind, then that's brilliant for me. And also when I did the test right down by the river's edge, and that was extremely windy, it knocked out loads there as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that that's gonna compete either with a blimp or a dead cat, but again, it just, it just went to show the amount of reduction that the Movo was actually capable of applying for this particular microphone. And then the second part of the test also was very impressive, and that was to use the Saramonic to power the, the mic with it and to amplify it. And also, uh, that cutaway that I used of the Saramonic, you could see I've modified it top and bottom with cold shoe mounts and whatnot. So right now, as I'm doing this piece to camera, I've actually got the Saramonic mounted to the top of my camera and the MKH60 is mounted on top of the Saramonic. So for me personally, this type of setup is amazing for doing like talk and head pieces or interview pieces with a really good, highly directional microphone. Now, the best bit about all this is the price of these things. The Movo is around £25 and the Saramonic is like £22. So you can get like a really small kind of like preamp system and a, wind, a small wind system all for like less than £50. And the proof of the pudding in this is actually using it like it did on a proper really high-end professional microphone. Anyway, there's going to be links in the description for everything that I've used during this test if you're interested in all of it. But yeah, bottom line is, I'm mega happy with all this. It's awesome. And thank you very much for watching one of my videos. And take care. Goodbye now.